Here we go. I want to have a basic uh, concept, part one, electrolysis, online students, ready? We're going to just touch on page one, good enough. We have 15 minutes here. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, first of all, I'm going to use some, find some space, uh, not here, but somewhere here. Write this down. Okay, this topic, ladies and gentlemen, called electrolysis. Uh, I want to share with you, the name itself is actually wrong. In IB, in A-level and poly, we always laugh at the SEC4 students. So if you're IP schools, your school will probably use a different name because it makes more sense. Again, you don't need to know, but I'll just write it down. Because IP, they can change the thing they want to change. MOE is not in the jurisdiction to control them. Okay? But O-level students, uh, I don't like the word electrolysis. Why? Uh, give me one or two more weeks, i show you why. It's actually wrong. I don't know why they still don't want to change it. You go to A-levels, you realize the name itself is wrong, which again, hold it there first, okay? So the electrolysis topic, all I want to tell you is we're going to learn two things, okay? Those have learned already, yeah. This is what we do, right? We learn electrolytic cells, and after that, we learn simple cells. If we are IP students, the name, they give it a bit different, okay? Don't worry, we'll be inside that, okay? There's different names. Uh, most schools should start here, and I can share with you, when they start here, they will end here, right? Uh, initially, they were quite okay, all right? Double chest poly, eh, not bad, quite easy. After a while, a bit difficult. Towards the end, they say, um, not that easy anymore, but it's when they pass here. I'm giving you a warning before I start the topic. They start to say, damn, I don't understand simple cell. And when they start to revise for a test or exam, they tell you the whole topic. They don't know what is what anymore. Okay? So the danger is when I cross over. Just to let you know. Because your lecturer or your teacher probably already tell you if you ask, just memorize what we gave you. Or memorize is the opposite. Whenever you start to memorize, I think you lose this topic. That's what I'm going to tell you. Okay? We go memorize a lot of things here. We play from the start to the end. Okay, okay. So that's what I'm going to share. We're going to start with electrolysis, uh, electrolytic cell once again. Okay, which is here. Ready? Nana. Okay, this one is just an intro. So here we go. This is the first type of cells. It's called electrolytic cells. Electrolytic cells is whereby electrolysis occur. What is electrolysis, ladies and gentlemen? Electro refers to electricity. Lysis is a biotherm, it means breaking down. Break down what? Break down a compound. Okay, that's the whole idea. You have electricity to break down compound. There are three things you need in electrolytic cells. All right, what are the three things? You need a battery to provide the electricity. Or uh, write this down, it can also known be a power source, like power socket, right? Anything, all right, any power source, which gives out electrons, current. You need something known as electrodes and you need something known as electrolyte. On the diagram, I give a lot of white space because later we're going to draw things inside here. Okay, give me a moment. Ready? Let's move. I'm going to run through this with you first, the notes. All right. Let's see whether you can do this in five. Listen up. So battery, right? So switch on the battery. When electricity is passed through, there are wires there, pass through the electrolyte. Chemical reactions will take place at what we call the electrodes. What chemical reactions, ladies and gentlemen, I told you before, redox reaction, right? This is not. All of them are redox. That's so why if you're not going to redox, you will never be able to do here. Do well here. Okay. And what happened along the way? The electrolyte is then breaks up, decomposed. Everyone, every time, is like that. Okay. Who are the electrolytes? So I use Greek. Electrolyte allows you to conduct electricity. They have mobile ions. We learned this since sec 3 acid based salts. Electrolytes can be either molten, meaning liquid, or aqueous state. What are the things that we can have? It can be ionic salts. So, molten salts conduct electricity, soluble salts conduct electricity. Everyone okay? Because of mobile ions. Can be acids and alkali because you it dissociate to give you ions. Okay. 
In solid state, the ionic compounds, all right, cannot conduct electricity. Why? Because no mobile ion. They are trapped inside the giant ionic lattice structure. Remember this? I just finished this with my sec trick. Yes, it's all back there. Everything is connected. Okay. Uh, bonding, I think I have a revision which on June. It's a four hours, I think. Um, yeah. If you need it, okay? Very important. It's the first pillar of chemistry. All right, so over here in electrolytic cell, what really happened, ladies and gentlemen, is the battery oops, uh, will give out electrons, current. So it give you electrical energy and you cause the conversion to chemical energy. This is the conversion energy. Physics say before, I don't know who say one, law of conservation, right? Energy is not created nor destroyed. It's created from one form. It's transferred from one form to another. Okay, right, That's what it says. Here we go. Here we go. Now the process of gaining or losing electrons in electrodes, redox urea, it has a term, and I need to be very good with it, it's called discharge. Okay, So when ions are discharged, they always form, ladies and gentlemen, they always have this as a product. It's either atoms, it's not molecules, and nothing else. And nothing else. Okay, so where are we? Ready? Whatever I'm going to say here represent the whole topic. I emphasize again. Eh? Whatever I'm going to say here will represent the whole topic. Okay? Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen in Redox, I have taught you this phrase. It's called OIRI. Remember that? OIRI of electron. Yes? We are back here. Oxidation is the loss of electron. Reduction is the gain of electron. All schools should have picked them. This is a strategy. Okay? Oxidation is loss of electron. Reduction is a gain of electron. Right? So we kind of let's speed up. I'm going to teach you another phrase, which is here. It's called an ox rate pack. So what does it mean? Let's write this out first. Okay? Uh, this refers to cathode. Cathode. And a reduction always occur at the cathode. Later, I need to overrun five minutes. Huh? We end at 2.35. Oxidation occurs at the word called anode. Okay? And from there, I'm going to sum these two up together, combine them. Wait. Two colors, green first. Okay? Redox reactions occur during electrolysis, ladies and gentlemen, at the cathode. Why is it negative? Don't worry first. We'll take a look. At the cathode, where is the cathode? Here. Reduction occurs. Done. What do you mean? It means the cation gain electron. Read. Reduction is a gain of electron. Full stop. I'm done with the cathode and the reduction. Like this. Let's go one more time. At the anode, where's the anode? Is here. Oxidation take place. I'm also done. What happened? Something loses electron. Oxidation is lost electron. I'm done with the two phase. Every question, I'll be using this. All the way to the university. Okay. All right. Okay. I have about nine minutes. Ready? Copy down ready. Let me give you an example and next week we apply. So this is like introduction. I want to introduce this. Okay? And actually we go into all the scenarios, not all, but some scenarios, such that whatever scenarios they give you, you can do by yourself. And you cannot memorize this topic. Okay? Okay? Copy down. Uh, go back to the diagram. We go up. Let me do wrong. Here, remember this? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is a battery. Uh, I want to share with you this first. A battery, physics, set one to cycle, you learn electricity before, right? It comes back again. The long side of the battery is always a positive. This is called pre-work the cell. You realize all my questions using the two phrase I give you plus this diagram, I'll stop every question. This is negative. All right, can someone tell me what is the charge here? The, the apparatus linked to the positive side of the battery. Physics student will help you especially. 
positive or negative very good first thing here wrong everything wrong with it right this is positive this is negative where did the electrons come out from the negative terminal or the positive terminal wrong <laughs> All right, in the on-site, common say positive is wrong. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, in physics, what you have is called current. In chemistry, we got no current. We talk about electrons. Electrons always travel in the opposite direction of the current. This is the first mistake. Ladies and gentlemen, put this in, and you realize later the story is a self-fulfilling story, and that get us not to memorize anything. Okay, ready? So the electrons always flow this way through the wire. That's the wire. Okay. Uh, so the battery is there. Uh, what is the electrolyte? This is known as the electrolyte. Uh, give me a color here. You need to black, 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 black. Okay, quickly. All right. So this electrolyte, don't have a lot of time left. This is the electrolyte, which gives you the mobile ions. All right. You must have mobile ions. All right. And this is the electrode. The two solid pieces of thingy is called the electrodes. Which we have two names, anode and cathode, right? Go fast, huh? I'm gonna go fast today. Time is late. I wanna go through this. Okay, well, let's have an example, ladies and gentlemen. After the red color you pre work itself, we can play with it. Uh, I'm gonna use uh, the simplest example, all right? The electrolyte is called uh, molten sodium chloride. It's in the molten. Okay? So um, the ions will come out. It's movable, movable. It's mobile. <laughs> so you have Na plus and Cl minus itself. Everyone okay? You got two ions. I'll shoot out. All right, dissociate out. So you have this and uh, this. Is it okay? Like that. Ready? I have five more minutes. Two thirty-five. It's the aim, right? Ready? I'm gonna tell you a story. Remember, I always say, if you all think I'm a joker, right? And I think I'm damn lame, right? Ladies and gentlemen, I told you before, all math and sciences, you like it or not, disclaimer, no prejudice against LGBTQ group, but it's always based on Romeo Julia, all science and math, okay? Romeo always attract Juliet, Juliet always attract Romeo. Okay, like it or not, it's really like that in all concepts. With that in mind, let me show you what's happening. Ladies and gentlemen, you don't mind, positive charges, we call it Romeo. Negative charges, we call it Juliet. Is it okay? Don't mind, huh? I'm not saying that the ladies are negative people. Okay. All right, I'm not saying that, right? No. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, I want to share with you to take a look. Can you see that this electrode here is a Juliet? Can you see? This is a Juliet. Follow me closely. Can you see this is a Juliet? So who will be attracted? Obviously, the... Romeo. I only have one Romeo. So this will get me it. So the Maya, the Romeo, okay? Uh, this man of the male attracted by the female, right? Romeo Juliet. Like it or not, yes? All right. Disclaimer, no uh, prejudice against anything. All right. And clear conscience, nothing to whatever, okay? Anyway, a lot of parents like to listen to my videos. Huh? Listen, hi, hi parents, by the way of my students. Ladies and gentlemen, it is unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, it's a double Romeo Juliet. Let me show you what's happening. What is happening? The Romeo is attracted to Juliet. So this is girl number one, right? Female number one. But apparently in the family, <laughs> there's another female. It's a younger sister of this. Yes? Uh, the Romeo actually don't like this girl, but like the other girl. Ladies and gentlemen, and that's what's happening. The Romeo look for the other Juliet. This is my story for you. And this is the half equation that we're looking for. And last week, if not the week before in Redox, I have discussed with you what? I've discussed with you about charges, right? I owe, uh, I have $1 in the bank, one plus. My girlfriend owe people $1, negative one. Add together, we start a family or something like that, we get married. My family don't owe people money, but we don't have money. Right? I told you before, it's about the electrons and the charge. You cannot get past this. I'm so sorry. You're in trouble. It's redox. Half equations. Okay? Listen to my video and hear my story. If you don't have a story for yourself. Done. Ready? And what else? Ladies and gentlemen, take a look. 
based on the square box we wrote just now, remember? Oil rig and an ox recap. Let's apply. At this side, ladies and gentlemen, what side? Uh, the green side, let's call it. All right. This is what reaction? This is obviously gain of electron density, RIG. So I know this side, the green electrodes, is where my reduction occurs. Yes. And I'm going to apply further is red cap. I know this green color electrode has a name, it's called the cathode. Done. Anyone learn like that in your school? No. Because this is my story. Unless someone copy my story. Nothing matter. It's okay. You can copy my story and teach your friend. Okay. Let's go to the other side. <laughs> Romeo Juliet comes again. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Romeo. Hope you agree with me. The Romeo, yes? So what happened? The Juliet, which is the only, the next personnel there, right? This is the Juliet. You better attract her. So the Juliet will be here. All right. So Cl minus can form what? I hope you agree with me. The only thing in your mind that has Cl inside there must be chlorine itself. So chlorine exists as a gas room term, right? Something like that. We need two of this. This is read out. The electron should be on the right-hand side. Why? You reverse it, it also makes sense. Okay, this is me. I don't owe people money, I don't have money. My girlfriend owe people $2. We start the family, go back there, take a look. We, our family owe people $2, am I okay? Self-fulfilling one. It's just a story. You won't get it wrong. This is my story. Okay. So what is this, ladies and gentlemen? Take a look. Isn't this the thing that is happening? This shows you chloride ion give out two electron. Oxidation is a loss of electron. Can you see? Where's the electron? Can you see the electron is here? It's lost from the pink color electron. Can you see now? It goes up there. That's why I tell you start with the red color first. It's called pre-work the set. My strategy. It works since my time. <laughs> All right, so what happened over here? Ladies and gentlemen, this we just mentioned, this is oxidation. And oxidation occurs at the where? Anode. And I think I'm done. Listen to this video again, because next week, you got my part two notes, right? We will be playing the whole set there using this strategy. Okay? All right, if not, uh, 235 already. Uh, remind me, I need to go through page two. If you want, you can read through first. Because your school has caught you. You want to look at my notes, go and read. All right, if not, wait for me. Start this later. Next week, we will finish it. Uh, uh, the page two of this, as well as uh, the application. All right, if not, I think that's all from me. Uh, I need to let you go in case you need to go somewhere. You need to run. Bye, everyone. Uh, Elisha, Vivian, Javier, Yen Kui, Joshua, and Kathy. Bye-bye, see you.